Although the focus of what we want to talk about here is the procedure section, I did want to go through this with you just a little bit to talk about all the sections within the methods. Some you've done, um, some you're working on, and some you're getting ready to do. So the, the goal, again, of the method section is to make sure that you know how you're going to proceed through your data collection and that you've documented that, to make sure that someone reading knows very clearly how you're going to collect your data and that as you write it up, it should, we should be able to replicate it from what you write and also to convince the readers that you know what you're doing. You were careful, you were systematic, and because of what you did, the conclusions that you come to are valid, they are reliable, and um, you're professional, you know what you're talking about, all right? So, the, the part so far, and I like this little document, and I've given you a link to it below, it kind of shows the different pieces of the method section. And we also have our research design within, as a subsection of our methods. That's going to be our first. But it talks about participants, materials, which, we're calling, which we are calling instruments, and then the procedure, which is what we're focusing on in this section of the module. All right, so what we want to do is say, okay, here's how this fits along with the outline just given. Okay, so the participants would look like this. The materials might look like this um, in this section, and then the procedure is here. And that's what I want us to focus on here is the procedure. And as you're reading and as you uh, open this document and see, the procedure is a step-by-step -step chronological description of how you collected the data. That's really what the procedure is. And excuse me if you need to look away while I scroll down. Okay, so here, the procedure. There's two parts. The first, okay, what I just talked about. In chronological order, what did the participants do? What did they do it with and how long did it happen? All right, so on the first day of data collection, students, or it's not students, participants did a pre-survey and took a pre-test and then you say what you did, what was the intervention, describe it, use enough detail that it can be replicated, but don't bog us down. And as you um, look at examples that I'll give you, you'll see kind of how that works. This by far the procedure section should be the longest part of the method because this is you're describing what you did. All right, so it's chronological, so we need a little timeline going on. So we kind of know as how things happen, all right? Um, the second part of the procedure has to do with the design and analysis, and we really want to look at the analysis. So how, I want you to describe how you're going to analyze the data. And this goes into a little more detail about how you might write that, okay? And I'm going to let you look at this um, in the design and analysis part. It's what did you do as the experimenter? So the first part is what did the participants do? Second part is what did the experimenter do? And as we read here, collected in four experimental condition, four yada, yada, yada. Um, talk about it for each Likert item. Researchers measured distance of millimeters, so what you did with the data. And then even maybe a little bit of a, and it talks about right here, just a description of what tests you might use. Now, you might not know that yet for sure because we haven't talked about that. Um, so, as you read the samples, you may find that you can add them in, but they can be changed as well, okay? So we can come back to this section. All right, so let's go here to this actual procedure section after it's written up, all right? Testing happened in a classroom environment that was reasonably distraction-free. And then it says, on arrival, so now we get into the chronological part. Participants received instructions. Many participants received picture. Had approximately three minutes to complete, et cetera, et cetera. And you notice it's very brief, very to the point. And as you read this, you can say, okay, I could do this with my class full of students without any, without any problem here. All right? 
you may have within your procedure references at maybe the end of like here response sheet or maybe you did a pretest or something a post test survey you might refer to that instrument so you'll need to put um, appendix A appendix B so you need to so that the reader can go and find what you are referring to all right like here participants received instructions orally if it's important for the reader to see those instructions then we would put right here between orally and in writing I guess here at the end of the sentence we would put C or we put appendix A or B C whatever however that falls in the order of your appendices all right so there'll be some reference within the procedure to your appendices as well now that's the chronological part and then the second part of it is your design and analysis and actually let's not let's get rid of design don't do the design in yours just do the analysis and I'll actually type these directions over um, on the page as well so how did you do it what did you use um, Oh my goodness, my brain just went blank. Tests you might conduct. Um, I will actually put in the samples that I give you so you can kind of see what that will look like, how that will be written, even a little better for what we want to do. This is not bad because it doesn't have to be totally nailed down. These are the tests I'm going to run. All right, it's an overview of what will be run, and then you'll talk about those in more detail when you actually do the results later all right so that's the procedure the procedure then is made up of two parts one chronological description of what you did to collect data what the participants did what you asked the participants to do. so step by step along the way and part two of it is the analysis how do you how do you how will you analyze the data what will you do to, to, to analyze that? All right, so that's, oh, sorry, I went, I think my brain's still a little fuzzy. That's the procedure. If you have other questions after looking, reading through this and looking through the other resource I give you, please let me know and we can work through that.